with Formula One set to review and change the rules and regulations for the upcoming 2026 season, these are the biggest F1 stories making the rounds. Racing Avenue is here to break it all down for you, diving into the most significant developments that will shape the future of the sport. Christian Horner, Red Bull's outspoken team principal, has been vocal about the upcoming changes to the F1 cost cap and their potential impact on team employees. The cost cap, which is set to increase from $135 million to an estimated $215 to $220 million, aims to simplify budget management by encompassing a broader range of expenses. However, Horner insists that this expansion must not come at the expense of the team staff, emphasising that the welfare of employees should be a priority. The FIA's proposed changes include incorporating HR-related expenses, such as maternity and paternity leave and staff entertainment, into the cost cap. Despite some teams' resistance, the FIA has confirmed that these items will remain outside the cap from 2026 onwards. Horner underscored the necessity of protecting team employees, stating, It's finding that balance where the employees aren't the ones that bear the brunt of this. His stance is particularly noteworthy, given Red Bull's previous penalty for breaching the cost cap in 2021, which included a $7 million fine and a reduction in aerodynamic testing. Horner's concerns raise an important question about the balance between financial regulations and employee welfare in F1. Do you agree with Christian Horner's stance on protecting employees from the impacts of cost cap changes? The Andretti team faces significant obstacles in their bid to join the F1 grid, primarily due to the substantial increase in the entry fee. Under the current Concord agreement, a new team must pay a $200 million entry fee. However, With the agreement set to expire at the end of 2025, there are ongoing discussions to raise this fee to at least $600 million. This proposed increase reflects the enhanced financial and commercial state of Formula One, making it a more lucrative but also more costly venture for new entrants. Despite receiving FIA approval to enter F1, Andretti's bid was blocked by Liberty Media and the current teams. To strengthen its position, Andretti has enlisted former F1 Chief Technical Officer Pat Simons and has been lobbying in the US Congress. Christian Horner has insisted that the rejection of Andretti's entry is not about nationality, but rather the economic landscape of F1. He suggested that purchasing an existing team might be a more feasible route for Andretti. This raises an important debate. Should Formula One make it easier for new teams to join the grid? Or is the increased entry fee justified given the sport's financial growth? Mercedes is gearing up for the 2026 engine overhaul with a sense of anticipation reminiscent of 2014, a year that heralded their unprecedented era of dominance. Technical director James Allison expressed excitement about the upcoming changes, while team principal Toto Wolff highlighted the potential for Mercedes to once again lead the field. The new regulations present a fresh challenge and an opportunity to replicate past successes, potentially propelling Mercedes back to the top of the grid. In contrast, Red Bull is embarking on the ambitious project of building their first F1 engine in partnership with Ford. This signifies a new era for Red Bull, but also opens the door for rival teams to capitalise on any missteps. Speculation about Max Verstappen's future continues, with rumours linking him to Mercedes if Red Bull's engine project falters. Additionally, Mercedes is reportedly linked with design genius Adrian Newey, who is set to leave Red Bull in 2025. When asked about the prospect of Newey joining the team, James Allison, one of F1's most successful engineers, stated that he could coexist alongside Newey in the same hypothetical lineup. Will Mercedes regain their dominance with the 2026 engine regulations, or will Red Bull's new partnership with Ford steal the show? The 2026 rule changes are sure to spice things up, whether it's within the cost cap, vehicle rules, engine, chassis, powertrain changes, or the driver market. We are set for one of the biggest shake-ups within the F1 landscape. Stay tuned to Racing Avenue for all the latest updates and insights as we navigate through this exciting transition period. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your thoughts in the comments below.